I don't get this because I do not feel this at all. The average American feels 10 years older than they are? What? I feel 30 years younger than I am. I I don't get that. I don't feel my age. Yeah, everybody's different. Yeah, I'm a terrible example of health in any capacity, but I don't feel as old as I am. All right, listen. I I saw this last night. There was a poll of 2,000 people. Ages 28 and older, they split it up by the different generations. So if it's 28 and older, it would be millennials, Gen X, the boomers. And most people found, 55% found to feel older than their actual age. Blaming it on joint pain. What? I, I don't feel 10 years older than I am. I Literally, I feel 20 to 30 years younger than my actual age. I can't believe my actual age these days. And listen, I, I, I might not feel like it. I certainly don't act like it. I act like, you know, Michelle calls me a child daily. Yeah, you are kind of, kind of immature in some ways. Yeah. Can I tell you the fountain of youth? Can yes. I tell you what it is? Did they tell you this on the teledoc? Yeah, yes. Uh, yeah. You have to change your mindset. And what I mean by this is I look at my very young children and my kids are working towards things. They're working towards a better front handspring. They're working towards a better split. And in my mind, I'm like, I, I, girls, I can't do a split anymore. Mommy used to be able to do splits. And my daughter looked at me. She goes, well, why don't you start working on it? Keep working on it like I do every why day. Why don't you work on splits, <laughs> Roxanne? You want to get some Instagram followers? Let's have Roxanne do some splits. Do you see the mindset? I want you to do splits. Why don't you try that while you're, while you're all wedged up in the coach section of your flight to Italy tomorrow? MJ, she pops half a zanny. She'll be nice and loose. She can slide right down that aisle. Uh, you will be more famous but than ever. You see what I'm saying? It's all about your mind. Because as you get older, you think you can't do things anymore. You think those, my split days have passed me by, kiddo. And she's like, We'll just start trying to do it again. Yeah, you've got some splits yeah. left in you. <laughs> may, I, may I ask you, you're on Alitalia or whatever the... the Italia. Yeah, yeah, Al- Alitalia, Air. I think yeah. they're gone now. There's a new name. It's, uh, so do you know what kind of airplane you're on and what are your seat assignments mm. for tomorrow? Do you have any idea? I know that back of the plane, like one of the last two rows of the plane. Oh, are you serious? Mm-hmm. Nice. Italia, oh. Transporto, Aero, Yes, I, and flying it, into Leonardo da Vinci International. All right, so are you flying from Atlanta to, or my, where are you flying from? Miami. You're flying Miami mm-hmm. to Roma. <laughs> Miami. <laughs> Benvenito a Miami. Yes. All right, so do you know what kind of airplane you're, and you're the last rose? Second to last row. So oh, my Do you God. fly to Miami or do you fly to, or you drive? No, fly fly to Miami early enough that if, if the plane isn't going to go to Miami, then the driving is an option. Uh, do you Wait, want my, are you bring going with your kids? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't okay. think the kids. The kids are pain in the ass. Uh, That's romantic. The kids, the, the kids are really a bunch of trouble. The kids are, uh, yes. are doing we, their... Uh, we, who who we, has the middle seat? We ditch the kids. Uh, yeah. No, we just have two seats together. In okay. fact, Doug and I discussed that, that we really shouldn't have had the kids. They really are a burden now. Dude, you know, Allison uh, and I have that conversation no, like we weekly. Get, get out of here. <laughs> right. I look at Allison once a week. I'm like, why the hell do we have these kids? All right, 8 o'clock. Oh, oh yeah. Eight o'clock at the MJ Morning Show here on Q one hundred five. I don't. I really. I don't get this. The average American feels ten years older. Roxanne, do you feel ten years older than you are? I mean, I'll tell you when I felt ten years older when I was trying uh, too hard to show off and do some break dancing, and I busted my knee, and then I was like, "Oh, this is what getting old feels like." Because I'm, I was like, "Hobble, my joints hurt." I'm talking so about on a daily basis. Do you feel ten years older than you are? Mentally, eighteen. Physically. Yeah. Older? 19. Oh, get out. All right. <laughs> Fester, do you feel, you don't feel 10 years older, do you? I mean. Even with that extra weight that yeah, you're lumbering I mean, around with. I feel like a fat 28-year-old. There you go. You know, right. I mean, instead of a fat. Uh, Froggy, do you feel 10 years older? No. I I, I, uh, I feel, the... you know, I can't do some stuff like I, I can't wakeboard as much as I like, they used to because yeah. I'm older. I'm sorry. I do not feel 10 years older than I am. But I, I have back issues. I fully disagree I with this. I remember when my dad turned 50 and I thought he was so old. Me too. Like crazy old. 
And now look yeah. at you. And then now I turned 50 this year, and I have the dumbest thoughts ever about any, everything, and I make the dumbest jokes in my head. I'm like, there's no way my dad was making these dumb jokes <laughs> when he was my age. <laughs>